Hello everyone, in this video I will tell you the most easiest way to draw and memorize a brachial plexus. A uh, brachial plexus is uh, actually plexus means a collection of nerves and uh, due to its location it is known as brachial plexus. It is located in the uh, neck and the upper armpit region. It consists of a collection of nerve which supplies the our upper arm and the forearm. I will tell you in this video I will tell you the easiest way to draw a brachial plexus. Uh, you should know that the brachial plexus consists of roots, trunks, division, cords and branches. First of all we will draw the five uh, main roots which are Okay now uh, you, as you can see I have drawn the five roots which are the C5, C6, C7, C8 and T1 uh, I have just made a round circles and now I will make its further trunks you can see here Okay, now, <coughs> now you can see here that I have uh, made <coughs> a small extension of the C5 and C6 and uh, I have combined them both to make a superior trunk. The <coughs> C7 has a straight, uh, no division, it has a straight trunk which is known as the middle trunk and I have again joined C8 and T1, I have extended them a bit and made them uh, their inferior trunk. Now I will make their divisions. Now you can see here I have made uh, two divisions and anterior division and posterior division of all the trunks. Anterior division, posterior division of uh, the superior trunk, anterior and posterior of the middle, anterior and posterior of the inferior. Now I will combine the anterior uh, division of uh, superior and the middle trunk and the posterior divisions of the uh, superior, middle and the inferior trunks anterior division. You can see here it. Okay, now you can see here that uh, I have combined the interior division of the superior and the middle trunk and make them into a single cord. And I have joined the posterior uh, division of the superior trunk and middle trunk and the interior division of the inferior trunk and make them uh, as a single cord. And the posterior division of the inferior cord remains same. It does not get into the branches. Now these three are uh, the cords. Uh, which we have uh, which we we will label uh, as you can see here i have named the cord according to their name the lateral cord the posterior cord and the medial cord now these all cords uh, will again give anterior and posterior branches and they will combine to make further uh, branches which we call as their terminal branches Okay, now you can see here I have divided the cords into their branches. The lateral cord is divided into the, its anterior and posterior branch. The posterior cord has also given its anterior and posterior branch and medial cord is also divided into anterior and posterior branch. Now I will uh, label their terminal branches. Okay, now you can see here I have given the terminal branches their names. First one is the musculocutaneous nerve, then the axillary nerve, the radial nerve, the median nerve and the ulnar nerve. The musculocutaneous nerve and the axillary nerve supply in the upper arm region while the radial nerve, the median nerve and the ulnar nerve supply in the forearm regions. There are further uh, division of the nerves uh, from different parts of brachial plexus which you can see here. Now you have, you can see here I have uh, labeled the few nerves which arise from this these parts of the uh, brachial plexus. The first is the long thoracic nerve which you can see here. Then from the superior trunk arise two nerves, the suprascapular nerve and the nerve to the subclavius. Then uh, from the cords we can see here the uh, from the lateral cord uh, this nerve arise which is known as the lateral pectoral nerve. From the posterior cord three nerves arise which are known as the upper, middle and the lower subscapular nerves. And from the medial cord arise again three nerves. This one here is known as the medial pectoral nerve. This one is the medial brachial nerve and this one is the medial antibrachial nerve. And, uh, and that these I have already told you the names of these terminal branches, musculocutaneous nerve, axillary nerve, radial nerve, median nerve and the ulnar nerve. Uh, I hope uh, you got a better understanding of the brachial plexus and how to draw it. So if you have any query you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you.